so I would never do that to y'all. So shout out to Vlad for taking it lighthearted whenever someone says something crazy about him. Uh, I wanted to ask him about the whole culture virtual stuff, but we didn't talk that long. We only talked for about 10 minutes or so. Uh, but uh, the basis of the conversation was mostly of that. Uh, he was also just giving game on, um, you know, what we should be doing next as far as uh, uh, shout out to Big Homie CC. Uh, we just did a dope, a very dope interview with the Big Homie CC. Y'all might have seen him on Cam Capone channel a lot. Uh, might have seen him on Adam 22, but he was basically a celebrity bodyguard that has been at parties where Diddy was at, has bodyguard for multiple celebrities, women and men, uh, and also was in the Chicago street. So our interview with him, we go down that Dirk stuff. We talk about Dirk. Uh, we talk about a few things. Um, but uh, I was trying to tell Vlad that he does need to holler at Big Homie CC. Um, uh, as he is outside, you know, we got him out to Dallas to come around and um, he might be, you know, doing some more stuff, probably with Terrence Gangster or some other people. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely coming up next. Um, you know, I think some some big name hitters are trying to holler at him. So shout out to Big Homie CC, but I was trying to let Vlad know, hey, he needs to holler at him. Uh, definitely do his research. Um, uh, not in this interview. I'm going to talk about another uh, another video, but, you know, academics. Of course, he reposted uh, the content that um, I had made uh, talking about the Real Life Two Stars channel. And uh, shout out to Academics. Uh, got his info. I'm going to connect with him. Uh, we're going to go back and forth through there because we would love Academics to come on the channel, to come on the platform. So shout out Academics in, this, in itself. Uh, but with that being said, uh, Vlad, cool dude. Uh, we kind of ended the conversation with um, let's exchange numbers. Uh, let's make sure uh, we tap in and we go from there. Uh, definitely want to get him out to Dallas. Definitely want to get him on the blue couch, have him sit down and we, um, and we chop it up, man. Because, you know. Again, like I said, I've always been a fan of Vlad TV. I've always been a fan of Vlad TV as far as the story he got out. I love his Michael Jai White. Um, but yeah, nah, we, as we talked, he spoke on um, Orlando Brown and why he don't do Orlando Brown interviews no more. Um, you know, it's hard to, you know, th th you got to come with receipts. When you say wild Orlando things, you got to have receipts for it. Or it's just, you could just say anything. And therefore, anybody could say anything, come on the platform. So that's why he said, um, even, if you have, even if you have star power, he don't just allow anybody to say anything. And that's why he stays away from Jaguar Wright because he feels she just saying anything. And I'm like, man, she's saying things more closer than even Orlando Brown is doing. Orlando Brown just kind of just makes fun of life and things. Um, Jaguar kind of is more built in reality as far as what she's saying. And we have to look into it. Again, we just have to look into it uh, when she says things. It's, it's stupid to say someone's a victim and just wipe, brush them off. At least look into it and see what they're talking about. With that being said, he talked about uh, why he doesn't do Orlando Brown, why he wouldn't do Jaguar, and also why Lord Jamar doesn't come on his channel no more now. I just made a video about Lord Jamar not coming on the channel. Uh, Vlad didn't make no notion towards that, like as far as him being a culture vulture. Not saying Lord Jamar called him that, but uh, Lord Jamar, y'all go watch the video with him and Godfrey to see what he said, or even go watch my last video where, we, where I talk about Vlad TV uh, and Lord Jamar's and uh, Godfrey's, you know, not messing with each other. But he mentioned Lord Jamar um, and why he doesn't come on this sh show no more. Uh, and I think he kind of leaned towards more so he didn't have the receipts of things he would say. So uh, I guess Vlad is more like a fact check kind of guy now versus just saying, I'm going to just get your story, which, hey, all power to him. But again, the conversation ended with, hey, Vlad, uh, come on, Real Life Street Stars couch. Let's have that conversation. And he said he's down. So that's all I care about. He's down to come on the couch. I'm down to holler at him. I say let's make it work from there. So uh, with that being said, hopefully Vlad TV will see him on the couch soon uh, and go from there. Um, pretty much that's all I had in regards, man. Shout out to Vlad TV. It was a great, dope conversation. Can't wait to actually have him come out to the D, have him sit down on the couch.